The last 10 years now, crime in Oakland has been on the upswing. Now, a new report suggests it's because the city abandoned its successful ceasefire crime fighting, fighting strategy. On for Stan Kerman has the story. The ability to identify and engage with the people at the center of violence utilizing a focused deterrence model is going to support us um, to see crime reductions fairly quickly. Officials with the city of Oakland are committing to a drop in violent crime once the city re-implements its ceasefire strategy. It's worked before. Beginning in 2013, homicides started tracking downward and reached a low of 67 in 2018. They've been moving up ever since that time, holding at 120 last year. Now a new report suggests violent crime began surging again because the city of Oakland gradually walked away from the ceasefire strategy. The takeaway from the report is that there's just a need citywide to refocus on the strategy, put the resources to the strategy, um, and re-implement a focus on those at the center of violence. The ceasefire strategy was launched in 2012 and centers on identifying and reaching out to groups and individuals at the highest risk of being involved in gun violence and then connecting them with life coaches and violence interrupters so they can forge a different path. An audit of the program by the California Partnership for Safe Communities suggests beginning in 2016 and 17 and accelerating in 2019 and 2020, each essential element of the strategy was significantly watered down, resources stripped away, or refocused. Now the city is ready to re-implement that strategy as originally designed. I do think that we'll see reductions once we re-implement the model. I mean, that's what happened in 2012. Ceasefire is expected to get back up and running within six weeks. Right now, the city estimates there are 350 to 400 people at the center of violence in Oakland. Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News.